everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to another project for LDRS Creative. Today I'm making four cards with the Strawberry Patch stamp set, which I fell in love with when I first saw it, but then I colored the images and I really fell in love with it. So I'm just showing you the stamp here. I did pre-color lots of images. I will color a couple with you on screen though. Just showing you the coordinating dies. What I love is that they're all ready in separate pieces for you. I did keep this strawberry pattern paper from the Farmer's Market paper pad, and I'm also gonna be bringing in this Miss You die, and I love that all the letters are connected so I don't have to worry about losing them. So loving their line of big sentiment dies, or word dies, I guess. So jumping into the coloring, I have the markers to the left hand side, the darkest marker at the top, all the way through to the lightest on the bottom. I do have a color map at the end of this video if you want to see all the colors that I used in one place. So I'm going to be coloring two images so you can see uh, the majority of the colors that I used for this card. I'm starting with the darkest color which is YG17 and then blending that out with the YG25. The lightest midtone I'm using is the YG03. Now for those smaller areas, like the foliage on the strawberries, I did skip the YG03 and just went straight to my lightest marker, which is the YG01. I love this color combination for a bright green. I use it often. I think this was actually the YG17, YG25, and YG03 were the first green marker combination I ever purchased, so you do see me use it quite a bit. For my stamped images today, I'm using some Accent Opaque 100 pound cardstock. This is really affordable uh, cardstock and I'm loving it. I'm getting a great blend. You can see here this color combination blends beautifully together. So once I get the foliage done, I'm going to move on to the strawberries. And okay, so this is a case of don't do what I'm showing, uh, do what I'm saying. So I didn't realize here that I grabbed the wrong marker and I don't even realize it until I'm putting the caps back on after I'm done coloring. I thought I was using the R24, but I'm using the R29. And then the R22, the R21, and the R00. And as I'm coloring from the R29 to the R22, in my head I'm saying, why aren't these blending? I use the R24 and the R22 all the time. Couldn't figure it out, so I did a little bit of tip-to-tip -tip technique there to make sure that I got a nice blend, and that works as well. So if you don't have the R24, but you have something a little bit uh, darker than that that you think might not work, go ahead and use the tip to tip technique and it should help blend that. And once I did that I was fine and I kind of had a chuckle there when I put the caps on the lid. Uh, so all the other images that I colored for the cards for the strawberries, it will have the R24, the R22, the R21, and the R00. So these ones are slightly darker in the shadows. So we've already moved on to the bear, and I'm using a large number of markers here. This is because I wanted to try to have the, where the bear's nose is, I really wanted to have the really pale look there. I don't do that often, but I was inspired by the colored images on the back of the stamp set, so I wanted to give that a try. So my darkest is the W7, and then I came in with the W5, next with the W3, which I think is what I'm using here now if I'm not mistaken. Then I'm going to use W1, and final color that I'll be using is the double zero. And that I'll just use near his nose there, like I said, and I really loved this kind of soft look uh, fading out to a really light color. I did that with the strawberries as well. I had them kind of fade into almost this really pale white with a slight pinkish and I really like the look of that. So using R20 for the cheeks and the ears and then I'm going to use the E49 for the nose. For the mouse I'm just going to use a three color combination. So I'm using C3 
C1 and then C0. And I decided to have my flowers white as well. So I'm using the same color combination for that. And I'm going to bring in the R00 for the inside of the ears for the little mouse. And then also to give the flowers a little bit of a pink color. So it's very subtle, but you can definitely see that pink. And then use the R20 for the cheeks on the mouse. I am going to use a black glaze pen just to add some black detail to the strawberries and the eyes of my little critters. And then I can go ahead and die cut those with my die cutting machine. So let's jump into card one of four. So today I'm making four clean and simple cards and I love how they turned out. So I'm just going to add some ink here to my background. This is the Soft Kisses color from LDRS Creative. This is a hybrid ink and it is one of the colors in their release, their last release, and it's so pretty. The name is perfect for it. So it's just going to give me that little bit of pink behind them to pick up on the strawberries and kind of pull that color together. I have some of the images already popped up on some foam tape. And then the ones to the back, I'm just going to add with some liquid adhesive. Love that little bee too. There's a little bee and a ladybug in the stamp set. The ladybug was the only thing that I didn't use from the stamp set today. So like I said, I'm going to be creating some really clean and simple cards with a lot of white space which honestly are my favorite. Between clean and simple cards and scene cards, I don't know, it would be tough to choose, but I love making clean and simple cards. So I wanted to show you a variety of cards that you can do that are very simple and easy to mass produce. And once you spend time on the coloring, it's really just fun to put together some easy cards. And I think the little scenes turned out sweet. You can see here I'm just adding some of the strawberries behind the little bear with the mouse on the head. And then I'm going to put the bee up top of the strawberry plant there. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. I chose I love you more than I can bear. So I'm using the Raven ink for that. I am going to stamp that a couple times just to get a nice crisp image of my sentiment. Got a little ink. Wouldn't be a card from me if I didn't get ink on it somewhere. But it's a quick fix with my white eraser. So just going to add that to my card base here. All the cards today are four and a quarter by five and a half, which is considered a standard A2 size card. So that's ready to go now for some final details. I'm just gonna add some Nouveau Glaze to my little B here and to the nose. Just some small finishing touches. So there's the first card complete. Here's the second card. So I'm using a number of the same images. Instead of a landscape card, I'm going to do a portrait card. Starting off again similarly with this card as I did with the first one. Just blending some of that ink, the Soft Kisses ink, onto my background. I'm just dabbing it off on a piece of scrap paper there. I wanted to have a really light color for my background. I didn't want it to be dark at all. So just tapping some of that excess ink off. So for this one, I'm going to use the sentiment, we miss you so very much. And you can see there, I just made sure that I had enough room for that sentiment in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to have the little bear with the mouse on his head underneath the strawberry plant and then I'm going to bring in some additional single strawberries here just to kind of fill out the bottom of my card. So you may notice I'm using an odd number of strawberries so it's often said that odd numbers are more appealing to the eye. So I have five strawberries, two to the left, two to the right, and then the one hanging from the plant. 
I'm going to stamp my sentiment now that I have my images on. I did pop up the little bear and the mouse on some foam tape as well as that strawberry to the front on the left hand side. And I can go ahead and remove this from my stamping platform and add a few little final details here once I add this to my card base. So let me know which of the four cards is your favorite after you've seen them all. I really like how they all came out. I'm in a clean and simple mood lately, so had a lot of fun making these. Now there's that cute little strawberry that you can color in on the sentiment. I decided just to cut an extra strawberry and add that over top. I just didn't feel like recoloring it and I wanted it to match the strawberries in the card. But you'll notice then that that takes off the balance of the five strawberries and now I have an even number of six. But I think it works because it's in the sentiment. So here is the pattern paper from the Farmer's Market paper pad. I did a 10 card video using that paper pad, which I'll link to at the end of the video for you in case you missed it. I'll also link all of the products that I'm using today down in the description box below. And those will take you right to every product that I show in today's video if you want to see things up close and maybe do a little shopping. So I went ahead and cut that piece of pattern paper to four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I'm using a scalloped rectangle from the die set from LDRS Creative with the same name. It's really pretty with those little cutout pieces. And I just cut out some white cardstock for that. Again, use the Soft Kisses ink to have a little bit of ink blending on my background. And for this card, I'm only going to use the little mice. This ladder is so cute with the little mouse climbing. So I wanted to have him under the strawberry that's hanging on the plant, like he's reaching up trying to get it. And then I'm going to have the little mouse sitting on the strawberry to the right hand side. And then I added a single strawberry to the left. And those two strawberries up at the top, I'm just going to use those around the sentiment, which I'll stamp out after I get this little mouse here in place. So for this card, I'm using Berry Best Wishes. And you can see it's a little bit of a smaller sentiment. So I decided to add a couple of those strawberries on top. Just to draw your eye up. And I think creating the triangle kind of vision of all those strawberries really helps as well. So I'm just going to add both of those with some liquid adhesive. I didn't pop up anything on this card. It's a very flat easy to mail card and I really love it. So some finishing details and then we're going to move on to the last card. I don't know if you noticed but I had cut the Miss You out of the center of that paper and we are going to make a two minute card. Maybe not even two minutes. So I rounded the corners of my card base. I'm not even using a card panel. I'm just going to glue these right on to the card base itself. So instead of using the O from Miss You, I'm going to use that adorable little mouse on the strawberry. He's so cute and I feel like that was the perfect size to replace the O. I'm just going to use my liquid adhesive here and get all of my letters in place. I took a risk here, just freehanded this out. I didn't measure it or anything and I think I got it fairly centered. I think it, it helps with that little mouse to be uh, in the center of the card. It really draws your eye in. So even if my letters were a little off balance, you wouldn't really notice. But I thought it was fun to cut out the strawberry pattern paper for my sentiment. So I'm just going to add some Nouveau Glaze onto my entire strawberry. I decided to do the leaves as well. And that will finish up this card super easy. I love when a card comes together so quickly. Added this little bit of scrap to the inside just for a little bit of added interest. So I forgot to show you a recap of all four cards, but I will have them on my social media. Links to all my social media are down in the description box as well as all the products that I used in today's video as I mentioned. So. Thanks everybody for joining me. Have a fantastic day.
I'll see you down in the comments. Again, I'd love to know which was your favorite, and I will see you soon. Bye!